Candles Reef here. Figure we want to do a little how to series for some of the new guys. Today we are going to be testing the calcium levels of our reef tank. We're going to be using the Red Sea Foundation Pro Kit. So we're just going to dive right into this and they give you a nice little chart to follow, give you nice, easy step by step directions. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your vial, you're going to take five milliliters of water, we're going to put it right in our vial. Now this is a titration style test guys. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add five drops of A for the calcium. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can for you guys. I apologize. It's going to be probably a little bit of a slow video. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to shake this for 10 seconds according to the directions. So I give it a nice little shake and you can see it's this cloudy color. Sorry. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm going to set this aside for a second. Now we're going to take our part B, which is a powder, and the supplied little spoon. Take one level scoop. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to focus on that or not. And add this in to our water. And give it another shake. This is going to take 20 seconds. So, you shake it up. Try to get everything together. I like trying to put our caps back on everything as I can. Give it a nice shake. And you can see it's turning this nice little pink color. That's going to be our starting point. Finish point is going to be a blue color. Alright, here's your titrator. What you're going to do is you're going to screw this onto the bottom. Now, the other tests are going to be the same exact way for this, uh, this brand. Now, we're going to take part C for the calcium. We're going to open up the cap. Take your supplied syringe. And you're going to take one milliliter worth. Now it never really goes to the line. That was always a big question when I first started. You can see it down here, not up here at the plunger. So what we're going to do is you're going to put the plunger right at the one milliliter line, and it's still one milliliter because what's happening is it's compensating on what's in this tip here. So now you're going to take your syringe and you're going to put it right in here, and you're going to slowly. Do drop by drop and shake until your titration color turns from pink to blue. Now, I'm going to try to go a little faster because I know my calcium level takes usually about four parts, maybe a little more sometimes. Now, I've always had a lot of questions using this kit in the beginning when I first started, so I figured I'd do a video on this for some of our new guys trying to get into the hobby, because it could be very confusing first starting out, and there's not a lot of information, it's kind of very vague. Even though uh, Red Sea does do a great job on their videos on how to use their kits, but I'm going to leave no stone unturned for you guys. All right. We're starting a color change here. Alright. Getting a little purple. There it goes. Alright, there you go. That's our finishing color. That's probably a little hard to tell because I got the blue light washing in a little bit. Alright, so now, see if I could get this to focus real well for you. Uh, come on, focus, focus, focus. Nope. Alright. Well, we're going to count our lines. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 big lines, 9, so 8 big lines and 2 little lines. So that's going to be 0.82 on our scale. So 0.82 reads out 
410 part per million for calcium. So we are a little low. We're going to try to bang this up a little bit, and I will show you guys how to do that. I do that with two part on a dosing pump, and I will be doing a video on how we're going to set up the dosing pump. Um, I use the bulk reef supply calculator on how much I should actually add into the system. So all you got to do is you go on bulk reef supply, you put in the style uh, calcium you're using, if it's two part, if it's a liquid, whatever the case may be. Then you select, uh, you input your uh, amount of gallons that your tank is, which we are 72 gallons with the complete system. We're roughly 70-ish gallons, believe it or not, even though it's a 72-gallon system and a 20-gallon sump. Um, so you're going to need to know your total uh, water volume for that, and then you're going to tell them what your uh, levels are and then what your desired level is, and it will give you on how much you should dose. But you don't want to go over 100 parts per million per day, so you've got to watch your dosing. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace.